at the good place. Blinds are 50 and 100 tonight on Poker Night in America. Do you fork with the good place? Like uh, my wife likes it. This is not my, uh, not my flavor. It's not your thing. New player, Ronnie Beta, raising king and queen. You get in for Zazie. you're standing up, walking out the door. Oh, I love that Dan Shack voice. Yeah, I do. Hey, buddy. No one can speak to that better than you. Yeah. Queens or kings and just running into better pairs. Or Daniel's deuces. You know your beats are bad when other people remember them. Queen nine into my aces and I just bombed. Flops four, seven, deuce. I think that was K7 just... on this board. Top oh, pair for Kenny. Top <laughs> set for D. You would like the offsuit nine on the turn. It's like a 50K. Uh, Beta raised yeah, pre flop. Actually, oh, on the flop, is drawing good. dead. But he hits a queen on the turn. Terrible turn for Bryn as well, who now has two like pairs. 40 with aces. And Kenny bets 2100. <laughs> that is the worst turn since Copperfield's Still Mirage is. Show finale. Magician humor. See you guys at the Magic bad, Castle. A couple of folds, and now back to the guy who's got the lock on this hand. That's Sean Deeb. And after it goes back call, I smell Rays. <laughs> no, I was just like really stunned. Like, I would and that's what it is. It's 7,500. Love the Rays. I mean, because I like. Looks bluffy. You know, somebody's got something after it goes back call. Bryn Kenny just not folding two pair. Beta will be giving up here, I'm assuming. Time to make like Ronnie the limo driver and drive 69 miles down the road. Get out of here. Ugh. Peace out. So now heads up going to the river with Deeb and Kenny. Eight is on the river, so Kenny's now left with his two pair to Deeb's flop set. I think we're gonna absolutely see Deeb fire again. Going. And he empties the clip. Now, I always say nobody folds on Poker Night in America. I think this is one case where we might see a fold. Yes, Sean's just as nutty as the rest of these guys, but the way this hand went down, it's really hard for him to have nothing. Mm -hmm. And the only, damn it, I was wrong. Can we redo that? Kenny calls in a $64,000 pot. He's going to Sean Deeb. Looks like we lost GI for the time being. John Andrus straddling the 200. That's a blind race. He'll get last action before the flop. Shaq calls the straddle. So does Deeb. Of course, Deeb is in. And Bryn is raising. Ronnie. <laughs> Beta calls the deuces. Berkey calls the grand with a suited ace. As does Shaq. Deeb also calls. Five ways of the flop. Four, seven, ten is the flop. Top pair for Berkey, second pair for Shaq. For him with bottom pair and one heart. He's probably gonna bet at this in position. Everyone's checked to Kenny. What are you gonna do, Kenny? That's 3,200. Beta, better get out of there. Berkey, more like bikey. Shaq, shut it down. Deeb, he's in Deeb doo doo. I'm just kidding, Berkey has to call. The rest could all fold though, especially once Berkey calls. Yep, and Matt does. So now over to Dan Shaq. Second pair, no diamonds. Tough to improve. Dan, I know you want to play, but just There'll be other hands, I promise. And everyone else does fold. Heads up to the turn. Five of spades on the turn. Berkey also now picks up a flush draw. The nut flush draw. So I don't think Bren's gonna shut it down here. I think he's gonna go for it. I think I can count on two fingers how many times you've seen check, check going to the river. And it's not happening again here. Bryn County can count on one finger, this one. <laughs> See this one right here? That's yeah, the one. I'm aware of that one. <laughs> 8,800 is the bet from Kenny. There's absolutely no way Berkey can fold top pair and then up flush draw. I like when people wear hats repping their brands on this show, like anyone watches it. <laughs> Man, this is one of the best hands of poker I've ever seen. You know why? Because I have no idea what's gonna happen here. 
Does it go check, check? Does Kenny soul read and check behind? Does Kenny think he has the best hand and bet huge? Does he think he has the worst hand, like he did with the straight before, and bluff someone off better? I have no idea. I think Bryn thinks he's value betting. I don't think he thinks he's gonna fold out better. And he certainly does not fold out better. Berkey calls with a better two pair. Very weird, very cool hand. I'm not hot. I just don't. Are you micro dosing? <laughs> so we got a double straddle here. Like I said, as we near the finish, expect these pots to get bigger and bigger. Sometimes you gotta put a case over it. Oh, look at this. You just show up oh, and get play. kings. Just give Bren more money every hand. Small amount of time. Crumbs. Moreno, of course, is an international fashion model. He resides in Dubuque, Iowa. I'm not, I'm not sure that's true. I'm just kind of making it up as we go along. Yeah, I've kind of checked cl out. Clearly. Yeah. Deeb's got uh, pocket sevens. Calling the race of Moreno. Bryn Kenny three betting ace queen. Wow, look at this. Beta with queen seven just fold so we can see what Moreno's gonna do. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Let's go. Let him have his moment. I'm only folding because it's the last chance. What a dream spot for Moreno. Moreno made most of his money as a teenager when he bought a McDonald's franchise. Are she still making stuff up? I, that might be true. I don't know. I can't say it's definitively not true, but he is definitively all in. Kenny calls and is behind. All right, here we go. We can run it twice. You want? Okay. Oh, you can. Yeah. Ah, never mind. I only want to run it once anyway. <laughs> I really want this to hold up. No diamonds. And the flop is eight three six. Ronnie Beta calling for no diamonds. He would have hit his queen Sorry. on the turn. This would have been bad for him. Feels like it's bad for Kenny. A pair of kings, better than a pair of queens. Somehow still, even in 2019. Unbelievable. And one was kings, two was jack nine, three. All right, looks like we have time for just one more hand here. Berkey straddling, which means action is on Elio Fox. He's out. That's gonna be a fold from Johnny. Race, five hundred. Marino this time with ace queen. It looks like he's gonna get some action from Sean Deeb. Calls with King Jack. I hope Bryn Kenny doesn't have any cheat notes on that napkin. Mm, Kenny also with King Jack. I always feel bad for these locals who come in with their good hands and they try to battle with the likes of Sean Deeb and Bryn Kenny. And I mean, they could get aces every hand and I'd still take the field. <laughs> well. He's got both of them in a pretty bad spot right now. I believe all options still available to Sean Deeb here. I think we're most likely to see him call. Oh, he folds. Yeah, if I was Marino and I called the 2700, I think the thing I'd be most worried about would be Sean Deeb just jamming on me and I just lit $2,700 on fire. Well, let's see the flop. It's five, six, ace. Wow, Bryn Kenny in a hurt bag right now. Yeah, it's a pretty good start for Marino, especially knowing that a king and a jack were also folded by Sean Deeb. Kenny's grabbing chips. Oh, this almost feels too good to be true. It's actually cheaper than the bet pre-flop. It's 2,600. Two different times now. Bren's got super aggro with Moreno. Both times Moreno has had it. Moreno, actually the older brother of actress Dakota Fanning. Can't say that's not true, but I, I don't I don't think it's true. It might be true. You don't know that. Marino pops another ace on the turn. Very bad card for Bryn Kenny. And we know this will be a bigger mm. waste of money than US Congress, am I right? Huh? It says here in my notes that Marino was the 2004 Mississippi State duck calling champion. It definitely does not say that in your notes. That I can say for sure. You do not have notes. You've never had notes. Moreno is making this look really good. Like, oh boy, I'm on such a tough decision here. What should I do? He does look quite scared. And maybe he is. He calls. We're now up over 31,000 in this pot. 
so much monies, deuce on the river. And when Bren Kenny reached the river, he wept, for there were no cards left to bluff. Will he fire one more time with absolute air? Hold on. Oh man, here it comes. 31,525, that's all the money that Kenny's got at the table. Yeah, this is a pretty sick spot for an amateur. Not to call him an amateur, he might not be. I'm just not super familiar with him, but it's a pretty sick spot. You have to give this a thing. Does he have you beat? Ultimately, you can never fold this hand, ever, ever, ever. Such a bad play to fold it in the end. But you do just gotta take a second and realize that you're probably about to win $60,000. And he does call. Manages to stack wow. twice. How about that? What a couple of hands here for the man who once won a blue ribbon for his banana bread at the Wisconsin State Fair. That one is true. Well, that was fun. What do you say we watch another one? Get comfy. It's called a click hole. Don't worry. No one's going to tell your boss.